Dale Dunn sailed and confirmed Mikhailo Modric to Arsenal. Hello everyone and thank you for watching Arsenal Die Hard. Don't make it up and subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you do not miss it on anything Arsenal Die Hard has to bring to you. As long as it is sports, we're definitely dedicated to bringing to you the latest. As long as it is Arsenal related, we will always be the first people to bring to you the latest as it happens. Right about now, we're talking about transfers, who's going where, definitely who is remaining at the club and not forgetting how is the club definitely selling. But right Right about now, the main man in the building is none other than uh, the one and only Mikhailo Modric, the, Ura the Ukrainian uh, football player. Uh, so uh, this gentleman has been playing for Ukraine and uh, he's also uh, been a very wonderful target, a very good football player who's been uh, targeted by a number of clubs number of clubs have been on uh, this gentleman wanting uh, there were a number of clubs definitely wanted uh, this gentleman to play uh, for them but uh, right about now what i can confirm to you is that uh, this gentleman uh, has met with uh, the coach of Arsenal, Mikel Tita, in the technical director, and an agreed fee was set, which was uh, 100 million euros, and that was definitely a little bit high. Uh, some people say that was high, 100 million euros, which was agreed by uh, Mikel Tita and uh, the technical director of Arsenal, Mr. Edu Gaspar, and things definitely went on quite well. He's a He's definitely a wonderful football player. Uh, and uh, when he's played, he's a, actually a midfielder. And when he's played his role as a midfielder, he's been quite, quite good. A very wonderful one. And uh, the fact that when you see how he plays, his mode of play, it's very wonderful. And having him will definitely be quite good. His uh, his striking skills are quite good. He can play as an attacking midfielder and also as a defensive midfielder. And uh, his awareness at the pitch is always good. Uh, conditioning, strength and stamina, uh, discipline and positioning, still the best for any uh, midfielder. Then he has superiority in passing his superior passing ability is quite high and his vision is also very good his he tackles quite well ability to read the game is also quite nice and he can communicate quite quite well and he passes the ball very very well so having him on the team will definitely uh, take us to another level otherwise thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe thank you goodbye for now